we honor and respect the students here. And they are a part of our feminine culture. We see them prevalent throughout our culture. We also use images of death. The scrolls, as you can see, on my head pieces, as a for bleeding, on our drums, our robots. We use these not to scare people. We use them to remind people that every day we wake up is another day of life. And that whatever that life could we come from is the life that we transform back to. So anytime you see us use symbols for skulls, death is for transformation. And it's something that's continuous in life because energy is consistently changing. And so therefore we will all transform one day. So this dance is a metaphysical response to our ancestral teachings. It's a metaphysical space of our bodies between the cosmos and the earth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to blow the conch shells, the conchas. We're going to blow them four times. And then we will face the four directions, the four cardinal directions, representing north, south, east, and west. And then we will also face the sky for the sun and the cosmos, the earth. And then everything in between in the middle is all of us and how we're all interconnected to one another. Typically, we dance in circles. Traditionally, we dance for a two, three, four, five, six hours or four days without eating food sometimes, barefoot in any element, in different capacities, different tribes too, okay, not just in Mexico, right? And here in Texas, we're Southern Plains relatives, and then up further north, there's Northern Plains relatives. 567 Native American transcribed languages still exist today between Canada and the United States. We also forget that Mexico, Mexico is a part of North America, and there were over 220 pueblos, which were also the same equivalent of what a traditional indigenous community would be, living off the land with their own language group, their own customs, their own ways. And we have now between 67 and 69 indigenous languages that have been preserved throughout Mexico. If you combine that with Central America and South America, you're talking about thousands of tribes, so you have to understand that you are on indigenous territory when you're anywhere on Anahuac, Semanahuac, the collaboration of our lands, which we call Turtle Island, which we belovedly know that we are the descendants of, and the Mescua. We are the mixture of what has happened to our people in the last 500 years. So when you're talking about the existence of humanity for 60,000 years, they found a woman from Peru who was mummified. She was a leader. She was a leader. I don't know if you can hear what I'm saying. She was a leader. That was immemorialized with actual throat simply, which is something that we considered to be gold. I'm wearing gold to represent how our people wore gold. We walked on gold. We lived with gold as a very intricate part of our society. The same way we do today, like plastic. So if you were to imagine people to come here from other places and demand our plastic nuts, and put all of our lives online for this plastic, it wouldn't make any sense to us. And that's just an example of what happened to our people over this gold resource. Something so simple that we use in our life every day that we actually paved our streets and walked on, that we paved our bathhouses and we bathed in. Something so simple, just yet another element in the Earth's vast numbers of elements, right? But when people came here and put a price on that, and put a price on the land, they put a price on our heads, right? So now we are all that mixture, and we are the descendancy of what they call Hispanic. The traditional indigenous cultures that are mixed with the European colonizers that came. And this is who we are today, and we remember all the different people that are in our DNA, in both directions on our mom's side and on our father's side. And we say thank you to our ancestors. We say thank you to those that suffered so that we could live. And we're very grateful to be here. And with respect to our time also, we're gonna just go ahead and dance. I usually teach and talk and sing and teach songs, but yeah. we're running out of time. So we're gonna show you guys what the dance looks like. And then maybe at the end, we'll be able to show you a song or two in Nahua which is the traditional language from Mexico. Um, again, our name is Salmeca Tonan Signorilizio. It's very difficult to say that, so we made it easy. Salmeca Indigenous Organization, or Houston Aztec Dance and Drum. We're going to start off with the dance called Bubble Fire.
Thank <laughs> you. 